Today, we will talk about Enterprise Multiple. Enterprise Multiple, also known as the EV Multiple, is a ratio used to determine the value of a company. The Enterprise Multiple, which is enterprise value divided by earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, looks at a company the way a potential acquirer would by considering the company's debt. What's considered a good or bad enterprise multiple will depend on the industry. The enterprise multiple is calculated by dividing the enterprise value by EBITDA. The enterprise value is the market capitalization plus total debt minus cash and cash equivalents. EBITDA stands for earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. Therefore, the formula for the enterprise multiple is enterprise multiple equals EV slash EBITDA. Investors use a company's enterprise multiple to determine whether a company is undervalued or overvalued. A low ratio relative to peers or historical averages indicates that a company might be undervalued, and a high ratio indicates that the company might be overvalued. This ratio is useful for international comparisons and finding attractive takeover candidates. For example, let's take Dollar General as a case study. They had a market cap of $56.2 billion, $344.8 million in cash, $14.25 billion in total debt, and generated $3.86 billion in EBITDA. Dollar General's enterprise multiple is computed as 18.2, $56.2 billion plus $14.25 billion to $344 million, slash $3.86 billion. This example demonstrates how the formula accounts for both cash on hand and company debt. While enterprise multiples are useful for finding attractive buyout targets, investors should also be aware of value traps. This can occur when stocks have low multiples due to legitimate reasons such as a company struggling and not showing signs of recovery. It's essential to assess a stock's actual value when making investment decisions. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Enterprise multiple is a ratio that determines the value of a company based on enterprise value and EBITDA. 2. It takes into account a company's debt and cash levels, in addition to its stock price and relates that value to the firm's cash profitability. 3. Enterprise multiples can vary depending on the industry, with higher multiples expected in high-growth industries and lower multiples in industries with slow growth. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.